When everyone says no, I say yes. It's all worth it when we can make our clients' dreams come true. High strong, high pressure, big results, bring it on. This is... When architects and builders and designers say no, I say yes. Yes, it can be done. And then there's the actual local contractors that say it can't be done. Yes, it can. I used to say I could do it anywhere in the country, and now I gotta flip that up. I'm upgrade. This year I did something in the Bahamas, Long Island, Bahamas, and it was hilarious. That job was so much fun it was hysterical so we went over to the bombers and we do what i gotta tell you is we didn't just go to nassau no, no no no, that would have been too easy that's like basically a hop and skip for miami we went a half hour from i think haiti we went to long island bahamas <music> asked me how much for all these tops I gave them a price they wired my money they wired my money in my account in four hours after I gave them the price I was shocked I was shocked and then they made us like kings over there and we 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 made them so happy they they want us to go back and do some more work too because they know back then I only had I, I wasn't doing too many of the countertops I'm doing now, so now they want my new stuff because they're jealous. business details matter.
limited because I hate designing something where I, I got this wall I'm hitting. I love that I could design it, but also, even if the customer is a triple bypass billionaire and they could afford platinum and real diamonds in their bar top, I don't want to do it. I want to give them this is the price. Let's say the countertop is $100,000. I also want to show them we could do it a little cheaper for 50 grand, or I could do it for 200 grand and actually put live platinum shreds in it. I mean, I can do what they want, but I don't want to just give them the one price and not have any options. That regardless of I know how much financial uh, ability they have to buy things, I don't need to tap them out. I'm fine with making my little profit and making a customer happy and I don't need to do that. Because they are gonna refer me to other people and I don't wanna get my prices all screwy based on people's financial status. I don't care if he's the janitor or the CEO. The bar top costs what it costs. I was impressed by how they were like, wow, that was a little more than I expected. Gene, you could have dumbed it down a little and still they would have been happy. So that makes me, I gave them more than they expected. So, but they also are excited because they're making more money now because they purchased a bar from us. They had a bar, I guess, for two years, but it was just a simple old wood bar, you know, because no one really spends money on a bar top. So now that they got this bar top, there's people coming in from all over just wanting to see it. And most people don't walk in and walk out. If someone's gonna walk into your bar and see it, they're gonna buy something. It's just, it feels like there's love in that place. He making them feel welcome. So his revenues are increasing. He loves me to death. I mean, it's a win-win situation. It wasn't even a transaction. He made an investment and it worked. So my bar tops make all my clients money because they're different. If someone says, where'd you get that? It starts a conversation, whether they buy from me or not. It's people today are buying tops from people. They don't really buy products. And they ask, do you have a showroom? And I don't like to say I have a showroom I because they expect this Home Depot showroom or something. I tell them I got a giant design room with different props and samples all over. I got over 10,000 samples of different various materials to choose from. So when they finally pull up, I start them out with the beginning. I say, this is recycled glass. This is recycled paper. But it looks good because I always like how things are recycled. But if it doesn't look good, I don't want to sell it. Because I like selling to people that typically wouldn't even consider the word recycled in their home. So I like that. And then I walk them around. 
And then they start telling me, well, I'm interested. I heard about you. Or I haven't heard about you. I'm a little afraid. I don't know what I want. And I said, don't worry. Take your time. No one has to make a sale today. There's no rush unless you're in a rush. Then we got to speed up the process. And then I might ask you some questions. Just because your favorite color is blue, you might not want blue countertops. So what are you seeing? I mean, have you watched ACDB shows? Can you click little kitchens off like howls or and then send them to me and then you you say I love this kitchen layout but I don't like that countertop and I don't like that cabinet and I'm like cool I can do that layout but let's do it in a nice ice chiseled red glass but let's do some tiger bamboo cabinetry or maybe coconut palm with some mocha paper stone countertops and then they just start getting mesmerized and I it's not like I have to shoot the lock off their wallet they feel comfortable. They know I know what I'm talking about.